to another Tuesday and story time with Miss Ann from the Ontario Public Library. How are you guys doing? How was your Christmas? How was all your holiday time? How was all your big giant snow day stuff? There's been a lot happening since we last saw each other. Normally, we would have started up in-person story time again as of last week, but we're holding off a little bit, waiting for the numbers to go down just a little bit more. So we're gonna be doing some more virtual stuff in these next couple of weeks. We'll be letting you guys know when we're gonna come back in full. We're gonna try to come back as fully as possible when we come back. We're really hoping that we can, when we come back, be like in full, pedal to the metal, doing all sorts of fun stuff. And Miss Ann has been planning some cool things that she wants to try in 2022. So stay tuned for all of that stuff. We're just gonna be on a little bit more of a pause for a little bit longer. I'm hoping it's just a little bit longer because I miss seeing you guys all the time. So today we're going to do another story time um, a couple of videos, we're gonna have some book recommendation stuff, maybe another craft. So those are some virtual things we have planned coming up in the next couple of weeks for kids stuff. Also check out Miss Sand's new location. What do you guys think? The light looked better over here? So let me do down in the comments or up in the comments, depending on where you're seeing this, if you like this new location. Let's see if you guys think it's kind of cool. Get to see Miss Ann's bookshelf next to it. Today, we are going to read a pretty short story that is one of Miss Ann's favorites. And maybe you can remember, we've done this one in story time a couple of times, especially after it has been really snowy like it has been lately, because we get to talk about some of the fun outdoor things that you get to do in the snow, not when it's snowing right then. And it's not about how much snow that we have, like the story that Miss Ann reposted last week, but it is about fun things you can do in the snow. So I know a couple of things that we can think about are making snowmen, we can make snow forts, we can have a snowball fight, we can make snow angels, we can do all sorts of fun stuff like that. But one of the things that I bet you're screaming at me that I haven't said yet is sledding or skiing or doing anything where you're going sliding down the hill which in some cases we haven't been able to do because it hasn't snowed quite enough in other winters. But this year I think is prime sledding kind of snow, even though it's a little bit icy under there, but I think it's still gonna be pretty good sledding snow. I'm hoping anyway. So we are gonna talk about sledding today in this book, Oops, by Leo Trimmers. I love this book. It is pretty silly and the illustrations are very funny. So we'll make sure that we can do enough close-ups of those so that you can enjoy all of them. And it is about a pig who sneaks away from his parents who are helping him going sledding, especially for my younger, shorter people. Do not go sledding without parental supervision. He goes up to the tippy tippy toppiest of the hill and sleds down, which is a giant oops and see what happens when he tries to avoid every other person that's trying to use the hill on the way down. Do you remember the going on a bear hunt story that Miss Sand does sometimes? The one where it says, we're going on a bear hunt, we're going on a bear hunt, we're gonna catch a big one. We're not afraid, that one. The, and then there's the part later when you reach something that's hard to get around, which would be the grass, or the mud, or the river, or the forest, and you say, oh no, there's something in our way. You can't go over it. You can't go under it. And in the bear hunt story, you always have to go through it. But in this case, I don't think you always can go through it. So let's check out this book, Oops, by Leo Trimmers, and see what we can go over, under, around, and through when we are taking a sled right down the hill. Let's get right into it. So you can see right here that the pig in our story has sneakily escaped from his parents and has run back up the hill. When they were laughing about, it looks like, I think, mom pig maybe fell on the ice or something like that, or maybe dad pig is just 
talking to somebody he knows, and the little pig, right up there. And he says, Phew, mommy and daddy haven't seen me, and I'm not allowed to go down the hill by myself, but I am going anyway. Do you guys think that's a good idea? Miss Anne? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Mommy and daddy told him not to do it for a reason. And I know sometimes it seems like grown-ups tell you no and you don't really know the reason. This is one of those times where I think it's definitely the dangerous reason. It's the most time that you want to listen right here where he's going to go down this hill by himself. And you're going to see that was probably not a good idea. So he reaches a little bit down from the top. Oops, mommy, daddy, I'm going to crash. Or can I just go over them? So what do we see here? We see a bunch of penguins, right? How many penguins do we see that pig might crash into? Let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight whole penguins. That's a lot of penguins. And what is it about all of these penguins that is silly? Well, it's not that they all are black and white because that's what all penguins look like, right? No, it's their super awesome hats. I knew you were yelling that at me, but we just took a second in case someone didn't notice right away. Yeah, look at all the super cool hats that the penguins have. Do you have a favorite one? Look, they have a crown, a silly banana and fruit hat. There looks like a knight's hat, like a gesture hat that has wiggly bells at the end. It has a chef's hat. That's one where you see it like if you have a fancy cook restaurant. Then you have, I don't know what that green hat is. Do you think it's like a captain's hat maybe if he was a pirate? And then you have like a little sailor hat and then you have like a top hat guy right at the front. They look very cool. What's your favorite? Miss Anne really likes today. Hmm. I think today Miss Anne's favorite is the jiggly one with the bells on it. Sometimes it's a different one. So maybe if you watch this video on a different day, you'll like a different one better. Okay. So what do you guys think? Can he go over them? I don't know. I don't think he can get up that high. That's really long to get over it. Do you think he can get over it? I don't think so either. What do you think he's gonna do? Phew! Do you see? He shoot and went right around all those penguins. Didn't have to go over them. He just went around. He turned his sled and scooched the other way and they all raised their hats and said, good luck the rest of the way down this mountain. Okay. Phew. I don't think that he's going to run into any more problems. Do you think he's going to run into any more problems? Maybe. Oops! Mommy and Daddy, I'm going to crash! Can I go around them this time? Who is it this time? Yeah, it looks like um, some alligators. Could maybe be crocodiles, but I think they're alligators. That are the... Grown-up alligator is pushing the baby alligator up on their sled so that the baby alligator can go down again. And he, the baby alligator's like, oh no, he's coming. So what do you think? Does he look like he can go around them? Maybe, but I think their tails might be more in the way than the skiers that were the penguins. So let's see, can he go around them or can he? Look at the grown-up alligator leaned way down so that the pig could slide right over his back or their back. I don't know what kind of alligator that is. And protects the baby alligator and the pig goes right back down that hill. All right. Next, I'm sure he has to be at least halfway down by now. Do you guys think? Oops, mommy and daddy, I'm going to crash. 
or can I go over them? What are these guys? These guys, I think, are vultures and they're birds. So you can see their wings right there. They have wings and they also have very, very tall hats. And how many of these are there? One, two, three vultures. They look like they are gonna climb up higher than this mountain. They look like they have other mountain climbing gear on there. So do you think he can go around them? Do you think he can go over them? I don't think he can go over them with those big giant tippy tall hats on, do you? Ready? Phew. I can go under them. You guys, did you figure that out? They were birds, so they just flew up in the air so that he doesn't have to go um, over them or around them. And they just flew up, so he went right under them. But I don't know why <laughs> they have mountain climbing stuff if they're birds. Can't they just fly up to the top of the mountain? I don't know. This is a silly story. All right, now he's getting down closer to the bottom. Oops, mommy, daddy, I'm going to crash. Or can I go under them? I don't know, what is going on here, you guys? Look at this. So here, you have someone, it looks like that the elephant, right? Do you see the elephant with the big trunk? Look like they got hurt on the hill and the dog is carrying them. Oh, look at that poor dog, look at. He's got his tongue way out. It seems like that elephant is very, very heavy. And you don't want to crash into an elephant that's already hurt. That's not great. It might hurt the elephant more. You might get hurt because that elephant is big. Look at, oh no, there's band-aids all over him. How many band-aids do you think he has? We're gonna count the X band-aids as one. Let's see, count with me. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight band-aids like eight penguins. I wonder if they did that on purpose. I don't know. Anyway, so that poor dog is carrying that pretty big elephant down the hill and they both look like, oh no. Do you think he can go over them? They look really tall. Do you think he can? they can fly up in the air and he can go under them? I don't think so. Do you think he can go to around them? Maybe. What do you guys think? Ready? Phew. Ooh, look what that dog, I think this is a magic dog. He went in between them. Look at the little pig lean down super close to the bottom and he went right in between that dog's legs. Oh, that's very lucky. That dog is very strong, pretty cool. Good job, hospital dog. Okay, ready? Now he must be really close to the bottom. Oh, look, oops, mommy, daddy, I'm going to crash. Who's he gonna crash into? He's gonna crash into mom and dad. Do you think he can go over them? I don't know, he doesn't look like he has enough hill left to do that. Maybe he can go around them? The little pig thinks he might be able to go in between them. What do you think? Do you think he's going to do that? Or do you think, oh, maybe he's gonna stop? It is look like the bottom of the hill. Nope, he finally crashed into someone and it was mom and dad. That's pretty lucky, I think. If you're gonna crash into anybody, I think it should be mom and dad. So he crashes right into them and says, phew, mommy and daddy. They don't look too mad that he went up the hill by themselves. And look who's coming down the hill now. It looks like those penguins that were at the very, almost very tip of the top. We went around, remember? All the penguins with the cool hats? And it started to snow again. Do you think they're having a lot of fun? That's the end of the book. I 
told you it was going to be a short one today. But I hope that it inspires you to maybe, if you guys can find some time and it's going to be kind of nice out, see if you can go sledding somewhere. There's some good places around Ontario and Webster and Williamson. And I think in Walworth too. I think there's a couple cool places in Walworth that you can see if you can go sledding. If you don't know a good place, ask your grown-up. Or come to the library. Maybe we could talk about cool sledding places. Ask your friends. Ask people in your class at school. Talk about it with other people. Find the best sledding spot for you guys. I think there's one out there. And try to go before the snow all melts. It's definitely a perk thing that we have here in the winter time that we don't get to have if you live somewhere else like Florida or Arizona. And sometimes we complain about it being snowy and cold, but sledding is definitely one of the things that makes it more fun. Okay, you guys, that was a nice short one. I hope that you have a really great rest of your week and we will see you again very soon for some other fun stuff from the Ontario Public Library. Have a lovely day. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.